what we're going to do today is build a small bonfire. I'm going to show you how to stack it, light it, and have a good time. When starting out with your selection of wood for your beginning part of the fire, you just want to use smaller pieces, not the real big chunks of wood. Uh, they will go up a lot quicker. So now you can see that I have the wood stacked. See how I've got it stacked around so that air flows through this? That's what you want to do. Uh, you get a good airflow, the fire will kick up pretty good. So now we need to get something to ignite this fire. Most people use small kindling with newspapers. However, I choose to use corn cobs soaked in kerosene. I learned that trick from my father-in-law. The corn cobs you want to use are not the ones you get from the grocery store after you eat corn on the cob. These are the corn cobs that are picked up from the fields. As you can see, I live in a country, so we get an abundance of them every other year. So I collect about a bag of them. So I'm going to take probably three of these corn cobs. And as you can see, I place them in there. You place them strategically all around so that they'll catch on fire. Usually three to four of them will do it. The good thing about these is that it's not going to blow up in your face like gasoline will. So you take a lighter, light each one as you can see it lights up pretty quick. What's up? So the fire is going to get going. So I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments on there how people start their fires. That's fine. I'm just giving you my cheat method that I use to start a fire. I've used charcoal fluid before if I didn't have anything else and just real small twigs as, as a base. But um, I think the kerosene soaked corn cobs work really well. So if you live out in the country or near the country, next time you see a farmer when he harvests his crops, go out there with a bag and collect a bunch of them. These work really good. They're cheap and effective.